Okay, let's just go ahead and go ahead and start taking a peek around with this new update. I want to get this done prior to uh, Batani one joining me. As great as gameplay is, I think. Oh my God, that looks so clean. Screw everything I was about to say. It's. Oh, it looks so clean. I'm sorry. It just this. This, to me, just screams Fallout, and I am so, so down with that. This looks like the, uh, the Marine Armor from Fallout 4. Sorry, it's, it's the only one I played. I know the others are great, but it's the only one I played. Sorry, I was poor, and also didn't get on the wave in time. Wow, this... Okay. So that's great. What do we... Okay. <laughs> We we might have been able to do better than that. But, you know, it, with scout armor, it probably looks pretty cool. Um, what's... I mean, it looks like a standard anti-tank grenade, so I'm assuming that's what we're working with there. Anti-tank, maybe anti-hulk. That'd be nice. Um, uh, oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Okay, let's, let's see what's going on with this thing. It looks like our DMR's got... A sizable upgrade. Uh, yeah, I will be. I will absolutely be trying this out. Um, let's let's check. Oh, I didn't even check. I'm sorry. Okay, servo assisted. Good. That's my favorite one. Fantastic. All right. Now. Um, okay, this one's got engineer. It once again looks fantastic. I like the uh, the 40 millimeter shells on the chest. This is a black version of the medic helmet, but that's fine because the medic helmet looks dope. And short capes, good. I've been waiting. Oh, it's it's a little like lops. I kind of like that. I like I like the way it skews off to the right. Okay, good, good. We're doing well. Lowers the time it takes for extraction. Okay, that's fantastic. Ten out of ten. This, I mean, it looks a little zesty, but I might get some use out of it. All right, let's let's check this one out. Um, it's interesting. I'm wondering if this can overtake the scorcher against bots. That's that's what I'm thinking as of right now, at least. Uh, I'm thinking it's very. It's got solid contendership. Now, this one is nice. That one, my friend was talking about it uh, the other day. He saw it in a leak or something. This one, 10 out of 10. I, I thoroughly enjoy this. Now, grenade pistol. Honestly, I've seen a lot of people raving about it. Uh, from everything I understand, it's basically like the China Lake. If you've ever played Black Ops 1, uh, very similar. And... Explosive crossbow, naturally, if you've played Black Ops 2. Okay, well, sorry for just... Oh my god, it's so hard to spin this thing. In any case, it's an explosive crossbow. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. We have a crossbow that blows stuff up. How could you not want that? Alright, let's see. This is... This is the first time I've seen heavy armor look and feel like heavy armor. They finally adjusted, like, the leg-to-shoulder ratio so you don't look like a Dorito anymore. And uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that immensely, actually. I think this looks very good. Uh, it's just the standard explosive resistance, but still, if there's any ha heavy armor that I were to wear, it would absolutely be this one. All right, now let's... Let's take a walk on over. I've heard tell that we finally got this workshopped. Um, okay, superior packing, resupply boxes, fill okay, so it fully refills all of your equipment upon grabbing it. Um, oh, it, it looks like we've gotten one for all of them. This is fantastic. Okay, orbital HE barrage spread reduced by 15%. That's, I'm actually not sure how advantageous that is. It depends on how much chaos you like with your drops. Uh, each strategy... Nope, instantly buying this. That's another bomb. That means I have three, fifth, uh, three 500s. Oh, 
no, it's not. I can't read. Or at the least, I read poorly. Um, I have four airstrikes now. So, uh, yeah, I apologize. I'm slightly illiterate, but that's still good. That is a good upgrade, regardless. Um, enhanced low funds. What are you calling me, poor? Okay, increased fire damage from stratagems. Not bad. It's... It's weird that it costs so much rares, honestly. I figured I would at least be able to buy two of these. Especially with the rare cap being what it was, because I had max materials. So that's that's kind of annoying, but it, it is what it is, I guess. Um, okay, well, the sentries take 500 less damage from explosives. Lightning arcs fired from turrets. Sorry, I hit my mic. Lightning arcs fired from weapons and turrets. Jump to one additional enemy. Okay. So, um, the team killing with uh, arc weapons just went up. Other than that, but these are solid. These are solid. Off uh, of first glance, I would, I would have to absolutely say um, packing expanded weapons bay and enhanced combustion if you like playing against bugs are probably going to be your best. But if you want a solid third, barrage spread seems to be the way to go. All right. Well, let's get into a game then. Okay, yeah. one down. Is it that, what about the other one? I'm heading towards the north to try to get this um, fabricator. The fabricator. I took here. one of the hulks, bent you out. Another one couldn't hit. Okay. Um. Look. I know I was a proponent at first. Oh my uh, god. This this thing does not feel as utilitarian as the scorcher. If it, if it had the splash that it should have, it wouldn't be a problem. Calling in reinforcements. If this thing, if this thing was able to shoot properly, and do what it is kind of built to do, uh, I think it wouldn't be bad at all. Anyways, uh, just throw me at the cannon if you want. To. Okay. It's done. That's that. Perfect. Fire down. Rocket Raider down. Two rocket devastators by the supplies. And a strider too. Bolter is starting to grow on me. It's. Well, it's a fucking bolter. It's it's not as. It's just weird. It's weird because it's. It, Dude, it doesn't feel very me? good. I don't you just know. Me on my body, died, please. I, yeah, when you died, I, I started for an impact. You were a little too close before then. No, no, or but it, the explosion came from behind me. Mm -hmm. I want to see if slow we can you just. Do. Uh, you can get out of the slow if you die, but it just eats more stamina. Nope. I'm trying to. Till okay, I think I can see one. Do you have anything on your special weapon slot? Uh, I am very right. gingerly trying. Alright. Requesting advanced weapon! I'll <laughs> my... I was gonna drop some eats first then. Well, you hit so something. Rocket quasar, I've hit two things. Hold on mine. Nice. You got a seat up there? <laughs> no, that's one of your... Some... Some things you just... You just know. <laughs> I don't mind giving that to you. <laughs> if you take out the thing with that. Oh. Uh, I have a grenade. Oh. Why not? I am a grenade, nice. boy. <laughs> mm, I see. Uh, how is your nade count looking? Oh, it's, it's empty. I have none. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Just, trick, just let me handle this. Have a taste of democracy. You know what? I will. If you guys don't have a shit ton of samples or something, you can just kill yourself and respawn you on the... Oh, you're already here. Never mind. Get everything back. Why would I do that? I don't know. Because you're bad. Because I... Times. <laughs> Times, please. Some self-awareness. 
Hey, friendly fire counts. The friendly fire. Not so friendly after all. This fast call in is amazing. It is so great. I'm so glad I got that. It makes this like 20 times less painful. I just got tired of sitting on extract. Is it like half the time or something? I don't even know, but like, this feels it goddamn breezy. I mean, it took like two minutes, so that's half the time, right? Um, no, no, two thirds, two thirds of the time. All right, well, funnel in, kiddos. Mech Warrior Five mercenary you just took. <laughs> I, need, I need to call my uh, ship Blackwater or whatever. <laughs> I'm here because they told me I was allowed to just ravage sentient beings. Like, I haven't been paid in four years. <clears throat> they feed me, and then I go commit more acts of horrific violence. I have remarkably high hopes for this gun. I'm setting myself up to be severely disappointed if this does not go well. I fell through the Let's strider, this guys. Out. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, I bet. Do you? There's I would nice. love to not be between a strider, strider, heavy devastator, and a fucking... Um, oh my god, it's so good. I, lo I'm, you, I love this. This is amazing. Oh my god, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. Couple hulk. Couple, couple hulk. Couple this is fantastic. This is, they cooked. They were cooking. They cooked and it was goddamn delicious. Every, I, it, 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 crossbow from fucking hunt, dude. it was, it was, it was so good that I got my voice back. It's, I was like feeling a little down in the dumps, a little dejected, kind of underwhelmed, but not totally. I kind of liked what I was getting. Um, this thing is, oh my god, it's a work of art. This, I could not have asked for more. This is amazing. This is exactly what an explosive crossbow should be. Completely silent, no less. Well, until it blows up. Bravo. It's not even loud when it blows up either. Yeah, don't worry about that. There's there's three of them. There's three of them. It's it's not worth pressing that one. Got a quasar and I'm standing out of the bay, so I just figured I'd poke them. Any of them live that? Doesn't seem so. Yeah, when I die, you got to pick this up. Pick this up and use the abs. Use the hell out of it. Like this is amazing. Listen to this. Hold on. Hold on. Listen to this. Yeah, you were so excited about playing with it, you didn't even pick up the launch code, you dropped the one. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't even pay it, yeah. I paid attention to nothing. Fire bullshit. Alright, it doesn't look like it does a whole lot to the front of them, but neither does anything, so. Uh, did it. You landed on me, not on it. I didn't land okay, on well, I shot the, the floor. You landed on me. I shot you the floor, so me. if somebody wants it, they can go grab it. <laughs> yeah, this definitely has a place in, like, closer to combat. And after saying that, then I realized that I'm just going to engage in closer combat. Well, lo and behold, it worked better. Yeah, so long as you know how to maintain your range, this crossbow is pretty fantastic.
Okay, well, I brought the wrong gun in, but it's fine because I need to test this gun out more. Okay, so... So? These are the best sights in the game. Like, they are the best looking. But also, this thing kind of sucks. Fortunately, the fire rate is fast. Come on. Oh. Okay, that's that's one way to go about it, I guess. Yeah, I. I can't lie, it's very hard to find positive things to say about this gun in comparison to many other guns. Yeah, like, I'm not fond of that, especially with six magazines. Yeah, it just... It sucks to see a gun with so much potential not live up to what you thought it would be. Like this... It sucks to say, but... In no way, shape, or form is this a very good gun. Especially compared to the other options that are available. You hate to see it. Yeah, no, I... I the adjudicator feels like you have to beat your opponent to death with inefficiency. Like, there's... I, I tried to find any different situation I could test it out where it would be good. And there's none of them. Doesn't do damage to heat sinks. It doesn't really do well with criticals. The armor piercing is mid at best. Um, the ammo counts high, but uh, that only matters to the degree that you're going to put a lot of bullets into nothing for a while. So, despite it looking really cool and being a really cool concept, um, yeah, that kind of shit. It's a day later, and all things considered, I feel like this was a pretty general success. But I do have some highs and lows to mention. I'll cover the armor first because it's going to be quick. Increased throwing range and more grenades are never bad passives. The heavy armor and its explosive resistance felt basic, but it's actually great because of how much more explosives you'll be interacting with. And as far as looks go, they did fantastically. Now let's talk about the stars of the show, our new weapons. Firstly, the two that aren't even in the video because they were so uncomfortable to play that I put my hands up and got rid of them after five games. The most apt description I've heard of the grenade pistol is that it's basically a firework. It was a very cool idea. If I were to tune it, I'd give it different grenade options for ammunition like smokes, stuns, thermites, etc. Then again, it's a single shot grenade launcher, so I guess I shouldn't have expected that much. The same seems to be true with the thermite. The idea looks fantastic, but the execution feels incomplete. The whole concept of thermite is a superheated chemical that will eat through metal, which they did grasp the concept of. Problem is, this is a fast-paced game, and it does that remarkably slowly. One stuck thermite should be able to kill a tank or hulk with relative ease because it's basically the only thing you can use them for anyway. Okay, that's enough of being a negative little crybaby. Wait, wait, no, no, I lied. It's time to talk about the adjudicator. However, uh, this is one that could absolutely be changed for the better while keeping with the core concept of the gun. Let's all agree, first and foremost, 
Regardless of mag size, one bullet chest level or above from a marksman rifle should kill a grunt. Let's also agree that the Adjudicator is likely the best looking gun in the game right now. The gun handles, looks, and fires well, but it's not that good at finishing the job despite boasting medium armor piercing capability. You simply don't get rewarded enough when landing your shots, which is very counterintuitive to what a marksman rifle is understood to be. A small damage amplification balanced by an ammo reduction could be all this needs in order to take it to the next level and see it getting some play. It very well has a chance to become what a lot of people have felt the Diligence Counter Sniper was supposed to be, and I'm holding out hope for it yet. Now on to what seems to be everyone's favorite new item, the Eruptor, or as I occasionally refer to it, the Bolter. I have surprisingly little to say about this one. I guess there's a first for everything. It's got five slow, heavy explosive rounds that are so strong they can kill devastators in one shot. I see the efficacy, but it's not to my taste due to my fondness for movement. I do think it deserves an upgrade in terms of how it hurts heat sinks because it falls short of the scorcher right now, and I think it deserves to at least keep up in critical damage capability. All things considered, from the bottom up to the top difficulties, it is a very effective weapon, provided you get over the learning curve of a slow fire rate. Finally, the crossbow. Now, there's some mixed emotions about this, and I definitely overhyped it, but it's still a killer of a weapon, and it is my personal favorite out of all of these. This is one of those guns like the Senator. Even if it sucks, you're going to use it anyway. That doesn't mean it's bad, but it does mean I'm going to be incredibly biased towards it. But I'm trying to be as honest as I can be, so give me some credit. Your advantages come in the form of it being able to kill everything the size of a Devastator and smaller, with one quiet, well-placed bolt. The fire rate isn't terrible, and the area of effect that it will kill grunts is very forgiving if you miss. It does, however, come with very apparent drawbacks. You will be quick to notice the range fall off is remarkably intense. It's amazing for compound rushing, but it's very bad for out in the open combat. The explosion won't break things like a grenade will, but the area of effect can still get kills and stagger. It's painful to use if you can't figure out the aiming, and it takes quite some time practicing. If you don't want to spend time learning the new mechanics of this gun, the Eruptor is probably a better option for you. Being the new weapon I have put most time in, it feels very good paired with a railgun, quasar, AMR, or other long-range alternatives that play well to its weaknesses. When using this, it's very similar to how you would base your style around using a shotgun. You're getting up close and working angles of cover to peek out, hit your target, and then dropping back in. To make a long story short, yes, the guns may need some tweaks, but I consider myself happy with where they are at the time being. I would rather have good and not so good guns that undergo some tune-ups as opposed to being absolutely broken at their inception and having dramatic nerfs. Any problems they currently have can absolutely be fixed and I wouldn't be surprised to see them mentioned in the next patch notes. That being said, please up the range on that crossbow, I'm begging you. So. Tell me how you feel about the new war bond. I'd like to see what other people think about it, because I've seen the community a little torn. Until next time, take care of yourselves and have a good night.